Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 7 of Direwolf20's Forgecraft 2 series. I am really getting low on stuff. There's a lot of things that I don't have right now, mostly focused around inventory. I am dying for some more inventory space. So I think that might be something I look at doing today. I clearly just repaired my uh, cobalt doohickey there. I'm going to keep this on me so I can fill it up all the way with Will. Maybe even look towards getting to a tier 4 altar today, but I don't know if we'll get to that because I think what I want to start focusing on, which is not going to be a tier 4 altar, I want to take a little gear shift and make my life a little bit easier for some things. I think it might be time to start working towards having a base and, ooh, upgrade required. What did I get? Ooh, strong legs too. Nice. I have to ask Way of Time if he's around. If I can get uphill step assist somehow, that would be cool. That would be really cool. But as you can see, I'm uh, upgrading. I haven't done much uh, sacrificial Yahoo stuff yet. I would like to automate this though, now that I'm like definitely getting better uh, with stuff. Ooh, upgrade required. Nice, quick feet too. So I'm already getting some speed boosts, which I'm all about a speed boost on this stuff. Um, and remember, we can take these upgrades off this armor now and do other cool stuff. So yeah, that's awesome. Uh, but what I want to do now is get into Psy. I think it's time to do that. So we're going to want a CAD assembler. We're going to want a spell programmer. Uh, we're going to want a basic CAD gun. All right, cool. So piston, redstone. Okay, got it. So a little bit of redstone, a little bit of iron. We're going to want some, yeah, that's about it. Redstone and iron. Cobblestone and wood. Good deal. Boom, boom, boom. One of you. And one of you. A spell programmer, which is going to require side dust. So we're going to need one of these dudes. And as I recall, because it's been so long since I've played with Psy, really. All right, we want to hit C. Psy data has been found from a previous roll. Would you like to load it? Yes. Uh, instantly to level 23. I definitely want to load it. Cool. Awesome. That's cool. That's super cool. So I guess I can just... Boom, boom, boom. Positive effects, tool casting, negative effects. That is so awesome. Nice. Okay. Pretty sure I learned all these things already. If not, yeah, we'll figure it out. Um, neat. Smeltery. I don't think I've ever played with the smeltery one. I should check out some of these because some of them I don't think I've played with ever. But I would like to check out block conjuration. I don't know that I did much of that. But that stuff's cool. Um, I did do the, the lighting stuff. Oh, you know, but it would be cool. That would be cool. See, I want to play with other armors, but if I take off just one armor piece, like I lose my, 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 my upgrade abilities. You have to be wearing the full set of living wood stuff. But yeah, so I, playing with some of the Psy armor might make me have to decide whether or not I want to go that route or not, but whatever. So, um, boom, 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 boom. Isn't that what I need to do to start? Could have sworn I had to just hit redstone with the Saigon. It's not glowstone, is it? I'm pretty sure it's not. Why am I completely failing to remember how this works? You know what I might need to do is place down the cat assembler, put this in it, make it the casting device, and then, and I'll just get half a stack. That's what I needed to do. Nice, okay. Derby Dyer, just forgot that little step. Boom and boom, sweet. So we can get a Psy spell programmer. Um, and I might wind up moving you. You can chill in the wall here for now. To-do list includes things and stuff. So here's something exciting. Um, let's get spell drives. Um, so there's the bullets and all this cool stuff. So check this out. One of the first ones I'm probably gonna wanna do is make the build a 9x9 spell. And I'll probably want to have a couple others, like the break 7 up and down, and the blinks, and all the other ones that I've been playing with in the past. Um, but remember, when you're accessing this UI, you can import and export from the clipboard. So check this out. One of the first ones I'll make is the break square spell. So I just copy that to my clipboard and shift click this, and boom, it's right there. 
Uh, now, obviously, I'm going to need a better CAD. So I believe I can do something like convert this back into an iron CAD assembly. Awesome. Uh, and now I should be able to like make proper CAD stuff. So let's get the proper things for Psy. Um, we're going to want a basic CAD core. Can I do any of this other stuff yet? Psy metal ingots I can make. So I can jump up to a higher tier. Um, side gems, I think I can make them too, though I don't know how good. Uh, I know that's gold and diamonds, obviously. Uh, yeah, I should be able to do that. Let's get, so let's clear this out for now. I'm just gonna do um, the ability that makes you infusion, it's called, right? Infuses diamonds into side gems and studio. Okay, cool, nice. So let's do this, and that's all I need to do, if I recall correctly. Um, so for this to work, I might, let's see, do I need, I do need complexity. So I need to make a basic one before I can go straight to the higher tiers. So let's do that. So we definitely need a basic because I don't have the complexity required to cast the spell that will allow me to do psi metal ingots. Cool. So let's get some uh, basic CAD core. Cool. Um, basic CAD socket lets me hold stuff. Shouldn't be a problem. And that's enough to get started, I'm pretty sure. The battery and the color stuff we won't worry too much about. Boom and boom. Nice. So now I should have what's required here. Um, I might like to do something where if I'm holding shift, it does greater infusion instead of infusion all in one trick. Let me see if I can figure out how to do that. So I think I can just have both spells in the same one, but I'm already using all my potency with just infuse. So I'll probably have to get a better CAD before I can go do greater infusion anyway. So let's just learn that. So we're gonna want a couple spell bullets. So let's do that. Spell bullets, easy peasy. We'll get like five of these for now, for the time being. Did you get this? Infusion? Yeah, you did. Cool. I'm wondering if sounds are bugged because I'm not hearing much by way of sounds. Yeah, that's weird. Uh, music and sounds. Do I have anything turned off? Alright, so clearly I don't have much by way of gold, but nice. Uh, not sure what's up with sounds. In version 29 of Psy, sounds weren't working, but in 30 they are, and I'm on 31. So I just messaged Basky to see if I'm doing something derpy or what might have happened. So let's go ahead and make a Psy Metal cat assembly. So clearly, much, much better. Um, and... Then we're going to want... I really want the... So these require diamonds. These require a little bit more. So I could either have more complexity or more projection. I think complexity is the one that I want because projection is the number of tricks. Okay, um, so that is either three or four tricks all in one spell. So I think I'll go with this one. So that's around redstone, right? So I am gonna need four more gold, which is not ideal, mostly because I think that's the last bit of gold I've got. But, such is life. Uh, so we'll do this, 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 and this. Sweet. And then if I want more sockets, that's going to require more gold. And I don't think I can hot swap these on the fly. So part of me wants to go find more gold right now before I finish making this awesome gun. And part of me wants to not do that. Is there a fancy way to get gold? Gold sand, huh? Interesting. I gotta get into the alchemy table stuff, but clearly that's not gonna work for me because that's not gonna work for me. Uh, one more look around. I don't think I can just combine these by chance to make a fully repaired one, can I? Nope. But I, yeah, no, probably not. Ah, good. Gold. Also, my mining sped up. 
because I trained experience and dwarven might, and I presume dwarven might is the one that actually causes me to gain stuff. So let's make sure the gold that I mine is actually in my inventory, not just cobblestone. Sweet. Because I didn't really clean my inventory before I came down, but hey, that's the starting point. I even got some diamonds out of this trip. All right, guys, I didn't get a lot of gold, but I got enough. Uh, so that's cool. Ah, creeper. Oh, I was so far away. How did you explode? All right. All you got was my chest, and you got my tank, which was empty anyway. Stupid creeper. Good enough for now. I'll fix it in a minute. Maybe with a spell. Ah, exciting. Um, so let's turn... I only need two more of these, if I recall. Still no sounds. I tried closing and reopening my client. Didn't help. Nope, not even a little bit. So, oh well. Uh, I decided that I wanted from Psy... Um, band with seven sockets, band with six. I'm going to go with sockets. More bandwidth, huh? Uh, let's go with this one. A little bit more bandwidth should be good. We'll just see how nice that is. And obviously, if I want to get, like, the really good stuff, I'm going to have to get into the the diamond unlocking. So I might be making another one of these guns at some point anyway. Let's call that a probably. Nice. Okay, so let's take the infused spell out of you and put it into you. Cool. You can go hiding for now. And now, let's see what kind of stuff we've got. So lots of things here. So let's try and import from clipboard again. I might need to reopen it. So let's get break square. Right, shift click. So that has a bandwidth of nine. Ugh. Um, but you know what? I can shrink that. I can do something about that. I think I, well, maybe. The largest width or height has to be two. I could probably shrink this because these guys no longer need to have it. When I wrote this spell, it required it, but it's no longer required to have this stuff here. So let me do this. Let me try and rewrite the spell using more efficiency. All right, guys, I just went and got a little bit more gold. I found about four... What I found? Wow, do I have that much gold in there? Okay, cool. Maybe I didn't dump out all the gold I got from before. But I've got a block's worth. Nice. I didn't realize I found that much, but I'll take it. Um, so that's cool. So let's get this going. Uh, you... This will get me just a little bit more Psy Metal stuff. And I decided against rewriting the thing because um, maybe I'll rewrite it later. For now, I'll just get some gold and... You know, do this thing. Because I looked at it and I'm like, wow, this is complicated. And I forget how I did it a little bit. Because I was in the zone and now I'm not. So I'll come up with maybe a more efficient version in the future. But for now, let's create maybe about... So I know I want four for the for another Simetal CAD assembly. I'm going to want complexity 32. Yeah, more complexity. That should be plenty. So we're going to want two for you. And then for the spell drive, we want 9 bandwidth 10 sockets or 8 bandwidth. We definitely want the 9 bandwidth 10 sockets. So that's two more, and we're going to want three of you. Okay. And that should be what we need. So let's put away you and you for now. We'll drop you, infuse, and then greater infusion. Cool. Not sure why spells aren't, sounds aren't working. Totally honest, not a clue. So we're going to want this guy, which has more complexity to it. Definitely. And we're gonna want this guy, which has more bandwidth to it. Definitely. Uh, so we can put you away. We can now assemble these guys. Do I want a battery in there? Basic. You know what? Yeah, let's do a battery. Uh, let's definitely do a battery. So it just costs a diamond. I can do that. Believe it or not, diamonds at the moment, less terrible than gold. And one gold and one iron. Yeah, I guess. Not the end of the world. That'll get us a battery. And I don't think I need a... 
Yeah, I don't need any. So we'll take that out, put this in, put these in there, and now we should be able to learn. Nice, nine bandwidth. So I should be able to build my break square spell um, and then put that in there. And for now, I'm going to keep out the uh, infusion one. So that's greater infusion and fuse. I'm just mixing and matching with my blood magic chest. But once I get more stuff, it'll be better. Uh, so the next thing I want is a spell circle bullet. So projectile, loop cast, circle spell. That's going to require a slime ball or a snowball. Oh. Have we found anything that even has the semblance of a snow biome? Not really. And with the current pack, not so much on the crafting of snow. Uh, all right, cool. So slime balls. I can make. So coagulated blood we can get. Casting 160 millibuckets of blood just on a casting table. Let's see how much this hurts. This should hurt me. Oh boy, yeah, it did. So one little ouch call got me 10 millibuckets. Right, that's not bad. So we're gonna need a few more ouches. This is working. And then just on a casting table by itself, just make sure that this is your bottom level. Right? This gets me coagulated blood. Hey, look at that, it does. Sweet. And I can make a spell bullet out of this? I guess we'll find out. Uh, circle. I will take it. Okay. Uh, the one I want to do here is, let me load it up. Uh, side spells. I have a folder with some that I wrote down. Nine by nine. Sweet. So that should work. All right. So my circle bullet there uh, goes and so that's my nine by nine spell. What else might I want to have at the moment? Uh, I wouldn't mind having that break seven above and below spell. import there's a way to clear this I think I just right click the thing again right yeah break seven above and below so that'll do um, that's one that I used to usually chop down trees or break blocks above it and hold the shift and it'll be different um, and place line I'm gonna do place line as well that's the one that builds a line of stuff in my direction so import that dude cool I hear terrible things outside that I don't like the sound of so now, break square should be working, which will definitely help me out. Oh, there's one more spell I know I want. But let's get place line going. I want to test this with some dirt. So place line there. So this should, oh right. Cool. Not sure why sounds aren't working. Definitely not hearing anything though, right? Weird. Okay, uh, let's get four molten blocks of iron out of here. So the other one we're gonna wanna try is break square. And I wanna go down to my mining area and see how that works out for me. Cause this is just gonna be a little bit faster than the cobalt system. Nice. And we're just gonna test it real fast. I could even do it at this level if I really wanted to. Beautiful. Look at that. Upgrade acquired. Dwarven Might. Nice. I guess it just triggers on break block events, not actually using a hammer or something, so that's kind of nice. Sweet. I'm digging it. No pun intended. I really didn't mean to. Um, Alright, so that's cool. So we've got a SciCAD, and we've imported a lot of the spells that we used from last season. So that ability to export, and like, I pretty much was saving them to a text file. What's up, dudes? How's it going? Nice. 
That's good. All right, I don't need any more bows, but I'll keep your arrows. I don't know that um, they've implemented the bow and arrow system yet in Tinkers, but it's worth checking to see if any of the updates we've had lately. Did I see an Enderman down here? I did. All right, everybody hold on to your hats. Hooray! I got, wow, two of them. Maybe because of looting? Sweet, I'll take it. Take that, Enderman, for trying to sneak up on me. What do you got? Uh, Fierce Strike. That's cool. And then Strong Legs from Jumping, I presume. Got a lot of good uh, good stuff coming in here. All right, let's put away some things. The next thing I probably want to work on, I'm being totally honest with you guys, is maybe a place to live. Would not mind. I'll put that in here. And uh, better item storage. That's also on my extremely need-to-do list. Desperately, let's go. Come on, Dire Wolf. Better storage than what you've got. And I've got a decent enough amount of iron that I can probably start looking into some iron chests at this point. Speaking of a decent enough amount of iron, I just found six more. Nice. Okay, so we've got the size spell. Do I want to... You know what I want to... Oh, I know which one I want. I know which one I want. I want another one. I want... This one. This is the one that will... Loop 30 times and break an area in front of me. So let's get another spell bullet. And we're looking at the loop cast one. String, huh? That shouldn't be a problem. In theory. So if I'm correct, this is the one that breaks a 9x9x3 nine by nine by directly in front of me and helps clear out space. So if I were to stand here... Oh, right. I have to take it off my hotbar. Okay. I need a little bit more psi energy than that. <laughs> Maybe I should level up and get a little bit more. But, I mean, aside from death, that worked out pretty well. <laughs> uh, yeah. I just forgot to move it. Okay, that's pretty good. You know, I probably had some kind of bullet that made, or some kind of gun that made it cost a little bit less. I'm sure that was the case. So for example, if I stood here again, And I just take this off. Yeah, we're in good shape. That's not terrible. Cool. All right, I will consider that. Um, I will probably want to do some break seven aboves and just kind of clear up a little bit there. Let's go sleep through the night. Seriously, the range at which you can do this stuff is just awesome. Just from a distance, like killing a tree. So cool. I wonder if I can break 9x9 nine nine, nine by 9 from that distance. Oops, no, that's 9x9x3. Nine nine <laughs> Whoops. I want 3x3. Three three. Break square. Yeah, it might be too... I don't think it's too far. I think it's just the angle I'm looking at. But break 7 above and below works. So well. Nice. That tree, I think I got all the wood off of it, so that should fall. That's actually really pretty not bad. Dig inside, man. I'm definitely a fan of some of the cool stuff you can do once you get your head wrapped around, like, the... the size stuff. And the good news is, once you have your head wrapped around it, you can just export it and, it, you know, save it to a file somewhere. Alright, let's... I wouldn't mind clearing out a few trees around here. 
That's what makes this break seven and above thing so useful. It's a quick tree killer. I know, I know, pickaxe on a log. Sorry. Let's kill the death point, remove. That should at least clear out some space in this general area, which would be nice. And then I might wind up, I bet I could create a nifty replacement spell, like a break and replace, almost like a wand of equal trade. Because all it would be would be break this block and then shortly thereafter replace this block. Might be cool. Um, and I don't think my break square works down, right? Yeah, it doesn't, for whatever reason, I could never get it to work in the downward direction, which is a bummer. So we'll come back in a sec. Uh, I'm going to hammer you down. How's that? All right, so if I'm not mistaken, this block right here would be a good place to build a 9x9. Nine nine. Let's see if I'm right. Go. Ah, I don't want you in that direction. What are you doing? Stop. Stop. Never mind, you didn't stop. That's not exactly what I wanted. So let's try it starting from here. Sweet. Is that done? That looks pretty good. All right. Nine by nine complete. Cool. And then we can do place lines here, 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 and here, and here, and there. Sweet. Building with Psy. It would be even cooler if sounds were working. Don't ask me why they're not, because I have no clue. And I know I've got some glass hanging around. So the first direwolf 9x9 on the server is now complete. Alright, so, moving my bed because it's getting dark out and I would like to sleep. Hooray! So we'll stick you there in the corner. Nice. Um... Let's wake up, take damage, and start. I'm going to start off with this basic hut just having item storage in it. So one chest can obviously be dedicated to that kind of stuff. Another chest dedicated to this kind of stuff. Another chest will be dedicated to that. And the third chest will be mod-related items that I don't necessarily need right at the moment. I haven't really been using that sword, and to be honest with you, 14 damage versus 11. I mean, the 11's doing pretty good. All right? And I'll probably have more chest breakdowns later, and we're definitely going to have a sorting system at some point, but at least for now, we have a jumping off point for which to start storing items in a more sane fashion, if you will. The jumps are cool. My feedback on the jumps is I want them to propel me forward just a little bit more than they currently do. Ooh, upgrade acquired. What'd I get? More quick feet? Yeah. Getting all kinds of upgrades. I have to look into and rem slash remember how to remove upgrades. There's also bracelets? Yes. Training bracelets. Cool. So basically you can craft this training bracelet and you combine it in an anvil with one of the books that you take off your armor. So for example, I can take quick feet off my armor, right? And then I can create a bracelet. And as long as that's in my inventory, quick feet's the only thing that I will train. Like I won't get any other upgrades. So if you want to really be able to customize which upgrades you get, you just keep the right bracelets in your upgrades. So if I wanted a fast thing, right? So strong legs and quick feet, like, those are the only things that I would put in my inventory, and therefore those are the only things that I would train up. Does that make sense? Hopefully, because that's the gist that I understand. I'm going to want to look into those at some point, because I definitely want to make sure that I'm getting the most use out of this living chest plate. So I want to have the right upgrades in it, right? And I think that that's an appropriate path to go down. So redstone can go in the other one. So we've built a 9x9, we've done some really good stuff with Psy, kind of gotten ourselves up and running again. The nice thing about Psy is that you're not forced to go through all those um, tutorials and everything again about how to do stuff. Wrong chest. It detected that I had another save, so it just kind of escalated me up to level 23 or whatever I was. And that's kind of cool. You know what I might want to do is just have one or two more of these chests. 
Bubble City. Um, you know, no, I don't think I need to Bubble City for sure. Uh, but I think what I'm going to do now is probably just wrap up the episode here. So we will come back next time, and I will um, play with maybe a little bit more Psy, escalate through Blood Magic, and then there's still some odds we haven't even looked at yet, obviously. And I do want to do inventory management, like, sooner than later. So I think that's going to happen, like, really quick. Um, but, yeah, we'll see. But for now, Devil 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.